Hi ladies, it's Andrea. I'm your Jamboree consultant for this party. I um, wanted to welcome you to the party. Uh, and I wanted to do a couple of quick videos for you with the um, showing you the application process and then also the removal process. I tried to do a one whole video of both. I've actually tried, I think this is my eighth or ninth attempt, um, but I'm just going to break it up into two videos because I don't have any fancy uh, editing equipment or anything, So, um, nor would I know how to use it if I did have it. Um, so I'm just going to do an application and then a removal one so that there's not all that dead time of me shuffling all my supplies around. Um, there will still be some shuffling. Don't get too excited. Uh, so I think it's always helpful to watch somebody actually do it. The instructions do come when you get your jams in the mail. They come all packaged, of course, but um, you pull them out of the envelope and you see them in this little pretty purple thing, and there are application and removal instructions on the back here. Um, but I, I like, I'm like i a visual person. I like to actually see it happen. So um, I've had a lot of people say, you know, those look really pretty. I love the way they look. They look like fun, um, but I just don't know if I could do that myself. I promise you, you can. If I can get the hang of it, I promise you, you can get the hang of it. It. So what you need for application, I posted um, earlier today, maybe yesterday, uh, that you don't need a whole lot. You need a source of hot air and you need a couple of things that you probably already have. I did want to show you our application kit. It comes in this adorable little bag. It is pretty sturdy. You're not going to, it's like a good quality makeup bag or nail bag. Um, and inside it comes with two nail prep wipes which are basically just alcohol wipes uh, and then this lovely tray of fun goodies you have the orange sticks right here you got two of those uh, one of our plum cuticle pushers a great pair of nail scissors these beat the pants off of my 99 cent store set um, a jamboree nail file small set of scissors and a four-way buffer uh, once you get all those out of their plastic they fit kind of just in the bottom of this little guy and the other things that fit in here are oh, I guess I took the wraps out but the wrap envelopes fit in here just fine your mini heater if you get one of these bad boys this has been a lifesaver for me that also fits in there um, and a little tip from me to you is I like to keep my wraps in one of these little a um, little mini photo album I did not come up with this. It's a genius way to store them. But they fit right in that 4x6 slot, and you can see them. So you can flip through your little Duma Flitchy. This is like 97 cents at Walmart, and it holds 24 uh, wraps. So, of course, if I'm taking all of my wraps with me, I'm going to need the big Mamma Jamma with all of the wraps in it. Um, but I probably don't need to take more than 24 wraps if I'm going on vacation unless I'm leaving the country for extended period of time. So one of these works just fine and also fits inside your application kit. Boom, ready to go. Everything you need for gorgeous nails on the go, packed up in your handy dandy application kit. However, if you have everything you need at home, you can do this at home without buying anything else. If there's one thing that I do recommend that is just going to make your life easier, it is the mini heater. Um, it's 19 bucks. It's hardly more than the cost of a sheet of wraps, and it just gives nice, even heat. It's nice and quiet. My husband loves it because he doesn't have to, you know, I usually do my nails after the kids go to bed, um, and we're having our evening conversation, catching up about the day, etc. cetera, and uh, I don't have to say, um, hold that thought, I gotta heat up this wrap real quick, which I did for about three months before I got the heater. <laughs> so um, he, he enjoys the uh, the mini heater as well. So we are about ready to apply a wrap. Um, this is a sheet of jams. I'm so sorry I lost my spot. I have notes for myself to keep from rambling. They're probably not working very well and I lost my spot. So this is a sheet of jams. There are nine sizes. Um, for a total of 18 wraps. This one sheet is going to be enough for two full manicures, two full pedicures, and some leftover for accent nails. The um, one sheet is $15 for all of them unless you're doing, uh, like, I think the collegiate wraps. 
might be a little bit more of the uh, so sorority wraps. The Muddy Girl is licensed. We have to have a special license from Muddy Girl Camo to be able to offer those wraps. So those are a little bit more expensive. Um, and then if you design your own in the nail art studio, those are not just fifteen dollars. Those are I think eighteen seventy five um, to be able to design your own custom wraps. Besides the point, most sheets are $15, so that breaks down to $4.17 for an entire manicure. And since they're buy three, get one free, buy three, get one free, um, they break down, if you do that deal, they break down to $3.12 for a manicure or $4.37 for a mani-pedi. Seriously, that's insane. So enough of that and my salesmanship. So it's time to choose a wrap for my finger. I'm going to bend the computer down, remove these notes. Sorry. So I take my sheet of wraps that I'm going to apply, make sure that you can see that, and my naked nail. Um, and I need to find which size is going to fit my nail best. So I just put it behind this clear sheet and I have kind of curved nails so I have to bend this over um, and see what's going to work. I would always recommend if you're between two sizes, I always recommend going slightly smaller as opposed to a little bit too large uh, because you do want to have a small amount, a small little sliver of nail on each side. If it's touching the skin or touching the cuticle, the natural uh, oils in your, in your cuticle and your skin are going to kind of work their way under that wrap and not be able to form that great seal. So actually, now I forgot which one it is. I think it's this one. Alrighty, so it's going to be this one. So first, we're going to need to prep the nail. While I'm doing that, I'm going to turn on my heater. It does take just a second to warm up. So that is currently on. You hear that low hum? It is not disturbing at all. So to prepare the nail, I want to take a buffer. This is not an absolutely necessary step, but I like to do it because I feel like the adhesion is a little bit better. Um, just like they would do in a salon, you're just roughing up that surface and giving um, that adhesive a little bit more traction. And then I take my al alcohol wipes. Uh, I get these, if I run out of the fancy Jamberry ones, I um, get these at Walmart, Target, any drugstore. Um, so after I've buffed the nail slightly, I, my, I want to say my hands are washed and my cuticles are pushed back already and my nail is filed the way I like it. So you just take this, alcohol wipe that off. That's really going to strip all the oils out um, so that you have a nice clean and dry nail. And then I want to take my wrap, I'm forgetting which one I did, it's going to be it's this one. All right, it's going to be this one. So then I pull it up. I try and touch the wrap as little as possible with my fingers, but it doesn't always work out like that, and it's not the end of the world if you touch it. So I pull that up, cut it about in half. I want to make sure I have enough to stretch over my nail. Bring my handy dandy heater over. And then you want to heat this for about three to five seconds until it bends. See how it bent? That's enough. More heat is not always better. And then I take it and I want to put it on the nail. This is the stressful part when I'm on video. Because I have those curved nails, I like to anchor it kind of on one side in the center and then really pull it and stretch it over to the other side. Um, they may have pulled that and stretched it a little bit too much. They tend to get um, nice and malleable, so you can really stretch them. I'll we'll make sure it's pulled down over the edge of the nail as well. And pressure all the way around. All right. So I do a second heat. A lot of times, because I have these bendy nails, I do the um, plastic bag method. I take a Ziploc bag, put it in there, and that's giving even pressure all the way around. Can you, you can't even see what I'm doing. Heater, wrapped nail. So I'm basically kind of shrink wrapping my nail, and it's giving even pressure all the way around. 
apologize, that angle is probably terrible for you. More heat is not necessarily better because um, it, at some point that heat does would, would damage the wrap. Um, so I take my rubber cuticle pusher and I just make sure that I'm getting all the edges, all the sides, make sure that bond is really, really good to the nail. And if this were really long, I could either trim this right now or I can file it off. I think I'll trim it just for friends to show you. I don't um, file off the excess until the wrap is totally cool. That just helps it kind of cure to the nail. So I just go around and trim, trim that little edge too because it's touching my skin. So while I'm waiting for that to cool all the way, I want to show you some other little goodies. A lot of times I'll take a wine cork because it's rounded and really roll it. It's kind of like that rubber, rubber cuticle pusher. For some reason, I have wine corks lying around occasionally. And that's just a really good, like, kind of irons out any of those little bubbles and stuff. I didn't get any this time, but occasionally you might. And then my very favorite secret weapon is this glass file. I am hard on my hands, hard on them. I'm going to lift this up again. Um, and so I, you know, I have my hands in hot dish water. I'm changing diapers. I'm feeding chickens. I'm gardening, etc. Um, and so where my lifting always happens, if it happens, is right at that edge because I'm, you know, my my nails are bumping into things. So I take my glass file, which has a really fine grit to it. It's really gentle, and just this final smoothing step. Make sure that's all dry. All. It's dry, period, but I want to make sure it's cooled off. Um, and I actually take a 45 degree angle. Oh, haha, <laughs> jump in the gun. To get the true excess off of your nail, you want to take your regular nail file, sorry, and file a 90 degree angle down. Don't go back and forth like this. Don't go up and down like this. 90 degrees down only because you want to just crumble off that little excess that's there. I don't, let's see. See how it's kind of wiggly wrappy. So filing off the excess and see you just get this little curl of wrap. That. All right and that you could be good to go but then I like to employ my little glass file 45 degree angle down. So what you're doing here, you're not really filing the nail, you're filing the wrap. Um, and you're just sort of beveling it a little bit and that has always helped prevent my wrap from lifting. Um, a lot of the times I even have a tiny little, tiny little sliver of the end of my nail show and it just sort of bleeds, you know, from the wrap directly down onto the nail. And, I mean, you can't, I can tell, but you really can't even see that that's what's going on from a distance. You would never, ever be able to tell that there's a teeny, tiny little area of nail showing there, and that's going to really prevent my wrap from lifting. So there you go. Happy, beautifully wrapped nail. No dry time. I can now go change a diaper, do the dishes, whatever I need to do. I'm not helpless for an hour. Um, so I know that this video is still almost 14 minutes long. Um, I hope you got something out of it. I will be posting a removal video, which is much shorter. Um, and if you have any questions at all about anything, go ahead and either comment below, you can private message me, or you can just post it to, um, to our Jamberry Party page. Okay, thanks for listening, gals. Bye-bye.